Assalamu alaikum guys welcome back to civil engineers youtube channel today i would like to guide you about floor beam reinforcement details on this construction site guys you can see this is floor beam construction width is 12 inches depth is 22 inches guys you can see we have 16 millimeter die of steel rod at the top and 16 at the bottom we have five steel rods at the bottom three at the top and two are sidebars die is same for all bars which is 16 millimeter guys you can see here this is column that is the other column so the length is 28 feet so the span between two column is 28 feet depth of the beam is 22 inches width is 12 inches we have 11 steel bars sorry 10 steel rods guys you can see die of stirrup is 8 millimeter with the spacing of 100 mm or you can say 4 inches to the distance of l by 4 where l is the span between two columns the first stirrup are placed at the distance of minimum 2 inches only you can see one of the big mistake in this construction especially for stirrup hooks so hooks are bent on 90 degrees so this is not okay so it should be provided on 135 degree next guys you can see here after l by 4 the spacing is 150 mm 6 inches so from 4 to 6 inches we have the spacing of stirrups stirrups hooks are placed alternately so in this video you are able to know the basics of steel reinforcement in the construction of floor beam as you can see this is the other column size of the column is 18 by 18 inches we have total 10 steel rods 5 at the bottom 3 at the top 2 are side bars dia is 16 millimeter guys you can see here they didn't provide any extra steel rods guys you can see this is slab reinforcement we have main bars distribution bars dia is 12 millimeter spacing is 150 by 150 mm or 6 by 6 inches guys you can see here spacing is 4 inches to the distance of l by 4 to the distance of l by 4 you are not able to provide lapping length So in the junction you can provide lapping length, especially for floor beam. Guys, you can see on the other side. Actually, this floor beam is especially for the basement. So therefore, you can see on the other side you can see the natural surface level or natural side level. As you can see. Also, they placed concrete cover which is about 40 mm or 1.5 inches because this is slave. As I told you in many videos, especially for basics. This is the other floor beam on the top of that they provided lapping length. So, guys, this is not the place to provide lapping length. So, here you are able to provide crank bar or extra steel rods to resist negative bending moment. Here we have more tension so therefore we have more chances of cracks in this place so we will provide extra steel rods or bent up bar to resist negative bending moment actually they don't have a side supervisor to guide them for these points which i'm telling you in this short video so this is the construction site which I have discussed the front of you. Hope this short video can help you if you are working on construction site. Thanks for watching. See you in next video. Goodbye.